The Nikkei National Museum and Vancouver Japanese Language School and Hall are presenting this oral history project to capture stories of Second World War Japanese Canadian survivors, the Nisei and Kika Nisei. Nisei are the second generation Japanese Canadians who lived through war and internment. Kika Nisei are Nisei who were forcibly deported to Japan in 1946 after the war was declared over and then returned to Canada in the 1950s when the War Measures Act was repealed. We have chosen the project name of Okairi, which means to come back home, where one is loved and where one feels they belong. Through each unique family experience, both the Nisei and Kika Nisei discuss what okaeri or returning home meant to them and what kinds of challenges they faced. They also discuss the strong cultural aspects of being of Japanese descent and for some, their commitment to maintain culture and education by their volunteerism. These stories are meant to be shared with future generations so that the history of all Japanese Canadians is heard, felt, and remembered. While every person's story is unique, three general overarching Japanese cultural values from the Meiji period were passed down by the Issei to the Nisei. The first is Giri, duty and commitment to the family and community first, before individual needs. Contrary to modern Western values, a sense of duty is viewed as a virtue and is not deeply questioned. It often involves considerable personal sacrifice or giving of oneself for the larger good. Examples of this that emerge from the Okaedi stories include making the family a priority, learning the Japanese language at Japanese school, keeping up with Japanese culture and food customs, and volunteering and serving for many years in Japanese Canadian community organizations. The second is gambare, which has many layers of meaning, including to do your best, to work hard with great spirit to strive for a better life in the face of adversity and in good times to realize one's dream. And finally, gaman, acceptance of what life has dealt you, making the most of it, and to endure and persevere to get through anything. It combines perseverance, fortitude, and deep strength. For the Nisei, the material and spiritual loss and hardship of their parents motivated aspirations and instilled a deep sense of gratitude. Perhaps the shattered dreams of their parents motivated them to realize this dream for themselves. Some older Nisei women may have learned to undervalue themselves and remained in the background as their Issei mothers did. Yet their immense contributions through dedication to the family and the community through service was the glue that rebuilt and sustained the community and cultural transmission to younger generations. Japanese culture and language became a duty that Nisei were subject to. The path of integration between Japanese and Western culture evolved over time, and youthful hope and optimism of post-war and post-internment Canada was grounded in the deep faith and belief to build a better life, which many Nisei accomplished. For the Kika Nisei, Going back and forth between Canada and Japan as outsiders in both worlds affected their lives for an additional decade. Japanese language and culture was central to their sustaining a sense of home. These Okaedi stories are rooted in family, culture, and financial security in the context of continual change and peppered with Japanese cultural values of giri, gambare, and gaman.